run away plasmid vector it can also be used in gene cloning procedures so run away plasmid vector means that sometime there is a loss of the copy number control which we can call is at uh, as run away replication so whenever during the course of cell division the plasmid replication control it is lost so such a type of plasmids they may be called as run away plasmid uh, vectors so they also have their utilization in the gene cloning procedures for for example high copy number plasmids they are mainly preferred in gene cloning because it will produce more copy of the clones of the target dna and in turn it will express more target proteins so target proteins will also be produced in abundance but this abundance of protein or expression it is not always desirable the reason is that there are some proteins if they are produced in abundance they are lethal to the cells aur isse cells ki death ho sakti hai to hum yahan pe ek example quote kar sakte hain like ompa protein ki which is actually a membrane protein and this ompa protein uh, isko hum kehte hain porins पोरन जो हैं ये ऐसी प्रोटीन्स हैं जो कि बैक्टीरियल जो मेम्ब्रेन्स हैं उसके अंदर चैनल्स बनाती हैं एंड थ्रू दीज चैनल्स मेटाबोलाइट्स आर सल्यूट्स दे कैन पास एंड इफ दे आर एक्सप्रेस इन अबंडेंस इट कैन डिसरप्ट द फिजियोलॉजी ऑफ द सेल एंड देर आर मैनी अदर एग्जांपल्स ऑफ द प्रोटीन्स इफ दे आर प्रोड्यूस इन अबंडेंस बाई यूजिंग हाई कॉपी नंबर प्लाजमिट्स दैन it may be lethal to the cell cause death of the cell that is not desirable until you get the appropriate concentration of your target protein or metabolite so how we can solve this problem one solution is that to clone such Uh, gene or proteins into low copy number plasmids to phir iske apne misail hain kyunki agar low copy number plasmid mein hum encode karenge to concentration low ho jayegi to cell divide karte hue protein produce karte hue zyada time lega which is not suitable so then one of the solution is that to use a plasmids that are called as run away plasmids so genes are cloned in these plasmids that can be maintained at moderate number at 30 degree celsius so the copy number will maintain at optimum that will not disrupt the physiology of the cell but when temperature is increased from 30 to 35 degree celsius then the replication it will increase more protein will be produced as a result of increased expression but within first a few hours this high expression it is not lethal to the cell and later on if expression keep on increasing as a result of the loss of control of the copy number that is resulted from high temperature then the cell death may be there so this is one of the strategy that you can control the copy number by changing the physical factor that at low temperature the moderate copy number will be maintained like around 30 degree celsius and if the temperature is it increase suppose 35 degree celsius then the plasmid replication control it is lost and it is called as a run away plasmid so finally we can say that with reference to plasmids we have discussed that 
there may be different types of natural plasmids that harbor different type of beneficial phenotypic traits especially antibiotic resistance that we can use as a selectable marker in the gene cloning uh, procedures and then with the passage of time scientists also developed in vitro or artificially synthesized plasmids and we quote a different uh, type of examples like PBR322 and by using uh, these plasmids we can clone a DNA fragment having the size between 10 kilobase to maximum 15 uh, kilobase uh, pairs.